Hello dear friends, a chatting time again because uh, there will be not so much time that uh, we can chat like this. That is not good. So yesterday I did a philosophical makeup video about uh, about decision about making something and this and decide on it and today myself I'm totally at loss because uh, I was thinking of sticking on one thing and there are too much information around us and uh, more than what we need, more, with, more than what we can handle. But still I feel that we are so blind, so blind, we do not know. But on the other hand, it's actually it's actually, we are blind by our own fear. Let's talk about something concrete, about this fear of blind by something of our fear. So there are many, many websites offering, selling art designs. And yesterday I said I will stick on my own website, my own Etsy shop, and then there are some friends that suggested different sites. And uh, it seems a very good site. And um, so, what can I say? There are many, many, many more things before you have seen enough. You should not make decision. And uh, there is no end you can see enough. There is no way you can see enough. Let me first finish. You do not want to see my ugly face. Uh, you, you do not want to see my naked face talking with you. Let me quickly get over with this and then we can chat a little bit. At least you or not, I will be more comfortable to chat with you with a little bit of grooming. Let me first finish it as quick as I can. Two minutes should be enough. I am I. There is no... This is me. There is not much trick about it. There is not much secret about it. You already know this is me. And uh, nothing will change that much, right? So. At least I just make myself more comfortable. Nothing more than that. Make myself not uh, like getting out of bed. Making myself a little bit more.
it's not perfect, it's okay. Daily life is not composed of perfect moments. And our life does not require perfect makeup. There are people, their life is for showing in front of camera, in front of things. Then they need to be perfect. Us? No, not. So, oops. Put on a little bit, I feel more comfortable. Then we are done with it. Okay. So it's always tempting to see new things and different things and see other people's success story and always wondering why is he successful and not me. We were born the same, maybe we were not born the same, but uh, anyway, we have been provided the same condition. Why is he successful? Why is she successful, not me? So we always want to compare and cannot um, set easy with ourselves. So. Um, Let's go back to that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm taking you too much time. Let me quite. Uh, let's go back to that. There are too much information and too many things we cannot handle. And before you see at least five or ten, you cannot just uh, go and say, um, uh, well, you decide. You cannot make a decision upon a limited resource. You have to see at least, you have to, you do not need to swim all over the ocean to see what the water, what the ocean water is. But at least you have to dip into the water and see a little bit more. On the other side, there might be better things. And through seeing several different things, you get to know the market altogether. And it, this is the same as language learning. So when you learn a foreign language, when you learn a new language, you always uh, stuck around at level one. And uh, you try this book, that book. I remember when I was first learning English, we were stuck into the same book, always especially for self-learning, you always stuck into several of these first level book and cannot move around. And um, because the knowledge set is there, it's because your knowledge set is on that. You have to see more and... Uh, do I make sense? You have to see more and get uh, different impacts, different way of expressing the same thing. Even the beginner level of saying, hello, um, how are you, what's your name? And there are many different ways of saying it. What's your name, what your name is, how I call your name, and uh, you are called what? All these different way of saying it, especially in different language, there are different way of expressing it and come back to the topic we, what we are talking about is about uh, this uh, you have to see enough um, there's no way you can see enough so this is a dilemma you have to see something and then make decision you cannot make decision upon one or two things you have to keep open your mind and um, and ready to to learn new things. This way, you are always up to trend, up to on top of things. And if you only stuck into one thing and decided not looking around, then you might be too much stuck into your little <coughs> little little shell and cannot see what is happening outside. So the first thing, the top important thing is make decision. And the second thing, 
making decision what was is what we were talking about yesterday and think I think today I developed a little bit of that thought is open a keen eye and open an eye of curiosity always looking around if there is something good you have to weigh how much it is good and do not spend too much time you do not have time to spend too much time and also once you are in the market if there is something teeny but tiny bit difference you can sense it you can know it and you know whether it was for you to make that switch and up to now i have seen different things and it does not make make it worse to make the switch so i will not do it and um, i am making a chinese learning video uh, a lot of friends ask me to make chinese making video and some people say some friends say that uh, it uh, makes them fall asleep. Some friends say it's very fun. Some friends say it's very educational for whatever reason. Once there is a base, there is an interest. It, it uh, interests to what I'm doing. I am doing the right thing. I feel happy. And uh, the thing is that whatever you do, people will find interesting, some people will find interesting, some people will find not interesting, but at least um, <clears throat> this I got uh, quite some request for it. So this video uh, I am still trying, but for now what I'm doing, I have already uploaded one video. You will see it is um, learning through uh, through uh, Google Translate. I will write down some short stories and these are the class what I have used in class. I use in class uh, every time when we finish work the students does a good job or something and make everybody happy. We have five minutes, ten minutes watching movie and uh, as our um, level escalate as our language level becoming more and more difficult the the, the language lesson becomes more and more uh, uh, complicated and uh, and challenging so for some time i think for students it may be more rewarding just to so much concentrate on the on the movie there are times we concentrate we we work on one, one movie in in class one movie in class so what we do i watch this movie before and write a short briefing of that story and then trans i write it in chinese and type it down type it in in simplified Chinese with pinyin so the student will watch uh, will read that paper and use iPad use Google Translate to translate that story and because the translation is Chinese translation is much more complicated than other language translation. I'm not saying any discrimination. Any language translation will have these uh, this difficulty switching between language and especially Chinese language and English language or, or two total different system of language. If Latino maybe you 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 Latin it's the same family. Chinese language and English fam uh, and, and other language is not from the same family. So there is a grammar difference and uh, and uh, sentence structure difference and the word arrangement difference. So students does the translate the students do the translation. I will walk around and tell them this is right you have one mistake you have one common mistake you have one space one extra space and totally change the meaning or you have chosen the wrong word because you can choose the right pinyin but not the same character it's very important to choose the exact character 
so I walk around so usually take 20 minutes to translate one lesson and there are always some students finish early some students not yet finished then we watch the movie and uh, so let me know if you like it if you like it I will keep on doing it and through doing it we will learn new method and uh, this is one little tiny progress I have made for today and day by day we become better person and more clear of our goal of, uh, of ourself and this is uh, one step closer It's good to have short hair, right? <laughs> so that uh, it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs>